So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and today we got a really cool one. I picked up this awesome accessory that I really wanted to try out and see if it actually worked because it sounded a little bit too good to be true. But now I'm going to show it to you guys because it has lived up to the hype and has lived up to the expectations. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So now that MagSafe has slowly started to come back now with the iPhone 12s, there have been rumors that there will be MagSafe on the new 14-inch and 16-inch M1 MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros. So after I heard that, I went out to go look for a solution that was very similar, right? I wanted to get that MagSafe experience, but also be able to do a lot more than just power my computer. And at the same time, I've seen a lot of different gimmicks, a lot of different, you know, no-name brands come out with these magnetic, you know, lightning cables, magnetic USB-C cables, so you can magnetically charge your phone on your nightstand and things along those lines. But I wanted one that could do everything. I wanted one that could not only charge, but also display my image and then also have data pass through. And that is where this USB-C MagSafe little dongle from Lyar comes into play. Now this thing is very self-explanatory. It comes in a tiny little box, which you guys see right here. So in the actual box, you get two pieces, right? You get the piece that goes directly into your MacBook or even iPad, depending on which iPad you have. And then also you have the piece that plugs into a separate USB-C cable, right? And then of course, this has, I wanna say like 20 pins on each side. And I'm guessing that's probably what allows it to do more than just power a computer. But just to give you an idea, these are some of the claims that it has, right? So you get support up to 100 watt power pass through, fast charging, support data transfer, and then you also get 4K at 60 hertz when you display it to a secondary monitor like I have right here. So again, those are all bold claims where normally something like this, a little device like this is normally meant for just charging. And even after that, after like a week or two, they usually die out. And trust me, I've been in that situation where I wanted to get something gimmicky, something kind of cool, and it ended up breaking on me after two weeks. But these I've had for a while and they're very, very solid. And again, I'm just so impressed that I can now do a lot more while having that MagSafe accessory kind of living there, right? So just to give you a little rundown on how exactly I've been using it. So the way I use it is I still have the USB-C end plugged into my MacBook Air, and then I have this end coming out of a USB-C cable that's plugged directly into my Bridgestone 2 hub, and that hub powers the MacBook Air, and it also displays my secondary monitor. So all I had to do was interchange it. So instead of going USB directly to MacBook Air, I now put the USB-C cable onto this, and then just magnetically attach, and then all of a sudden everything works as if it's supposed to, just like normal. And again, that's what makes it so impressive because I wasn't expecting something so small, so, again, so small, so minute, right? This little gimmicky magnet kind of situation. I guess when you do it right, when you do it with a good brand and do it with quality and some R&D in the back, it works out well. Because again, I've seen a lot of different third-party ones on Amazon, on Wish and things like that, where they're very cheap, but they're terrible when it comes to exactly what you want it to do. And I've tested this thing with multiple USB-C cables. I tested it on multiple devices. As you guys can see, I also tested it on the iPad Pro and it works magically on the iPad Pro and it even works if you plug it into the Magic Keyboard itself. It'll work as a power pass because obviously the Magic Keyboard port does not support secondary display or data transfer or anything like that, but it does support power. So if you wanna just keep this on your Magic Keyboard, keep this in on the Magic Keyboard and then throw this guy in there whenever you need to charge it, it does work, which is very cool. It does work to charge. So all in all, this is just an accessory that I wanted to show off to you guys. I'm gonna link it below. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you guys would pick up? Is this kind of a gimmick? Are you just gonna wait for it to be installed on the MacBook Airs and the MacBook Pros natively so you don't have to deal with something like this? And do you think if they do bring MagSafe back to the laptops and to the Apple computers, do you think they'll do more than just power? Do you think we're gonna have some data with it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know everybody's thoughts. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I thought this was a very cool little device that I wanted to show off to everybody. And then before we get out of here, I do have a second one that I do wanna give away. So if this video gets to 250 likes, be more than happy to choose somebody from the comments and send it your way because I do think it's something that can be used. And it's not exclusive to MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros. Anything that has a USB-C input can use this device. So if you have a Samsung device, that works. Apple devices with USB-C, that works. The list goes on and on. As long as you have a USB-C port, this will work for at least charging and then everything else on top of that. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, give it a like, get it to 250. I'll give one of these away to one of you guys in the comments and let you guys enjoy it and play with it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time. Peace.